questions, predictions, and theories. Okay, okay. So that's one of the questions. What's in the box? What's in the box? Not taking, give me the what's gun. in the box? What's in the box? I think we know what's in the box. I think we know, right? I'm like replacement Wakanda wings. I'm like, I'm calling them Wakanda yeah, wings. Wakanda wings. We're all, well, I think we're all calling Wakanda wings. Definitely. And to be more specific, I think they're going to be red, white, and blue Wakanda wings. So just like that image that Sonus you have behind you, where in the comic book, Falcon, he eventually yeah. becomes Captain America. So he has like the Captain America themed Falcon suit. I was just mad that like, he didn't open it right when he got it. Like, I would be excited. I was like, open it, open it. Like, he did a whole day and a half, and they said he was alone to open it and shit. And I'm like, that's like getting presents on Christmas and not opening on Christmas. You open like a week after Christmas. Like, what? You didn't open it on Christmas? <laughs> yeah. It'll yeah, dude. yeah. That's always like a like a comic book hero thing. Like, oh, I don't like these powers. Oh. Like, like struggling with powers and shit. Like, oh. not right now. Not right now. Yeah, not like, right now. that shit. I would have been like, what? <laughs> Bye. One thing I was really curious of, I'm starting to wonder if um, Shannon is a uh, um, red herring or not. So that's just one of the questions we've had week after week. We still haven't gotten an answer for it, which is, what the hell is up with Shannon, dude? Like, is it Shannon or Sharon? I always call her. It's Shannon, wait, Sharon. I think it's, I think it's Shannon. Shannon? It's either Shannon or Sharon. So we do find out that in episode one, Batroc the Leaper was actually hired by Shannon. Mm. So that's very interesting because she hires him again in this episode to basically arm Carly and the rest of the Flag Smashers. So she supplies them with weapons and bombs and under the understanding that Batroc gets to get revenge on Sam. So she offers him that way in. So whose side is she on? Is she a double agent or is she... Is she evil now? That's definitely gonna be the $64 question. Okay, this is my question. Is he going crazy? Is the serum making him crazy? Or is he just stressing out? Like, what is it? Flag Smasher, when she said that it, it just burned, they didn't have like all these reactions that, I guess to each his own, whoever gets it has their own way, but like, those two, they just had, I'm just gonna go, they had a burning reaction, like she said, but he's having like these like mental things, like. Well, I, I, I think it's a combination. It's a combination of him being stressed out by the pressures of being Captain America. And then there was the death of his best friend. And then there was this public display of him tarnishing the title of Captain America publicly. Uh, he just committed murder there's fresh blood on his hands. Um, we talked about last episode of how he just got his ass handed to him and humiliated like 20 times by everyone. So it's all that. But if you remember in the first Captain America movie, the Captain America and the first Avenger, I forget the scientist's name who created the serum. But when he's talking to Steve Rogers, he says the serum, if you're good inside, it makes you better. If you're evil inside, it makes you worse. I think it's both. I think the serum is, like Mikey said, it's working its way through his blood and combined with all this trauma that's suddenly on him, I think he's snapped. He's 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 delusional. He's magnifying whatever he's doing. All right, next question. What the hell was up with that card that she gave him? Uh, Defontaine, when she gave John Walker that blank card, what is up with that? There's, there's nothing on it. I had no idea. Could have given me one of those cards where you like take a lighter and burn it, and then it's gonna like Shh, meet me at four hundred five six three lane. <laughs> yeah, you have to or if you hold like it up to like a black light. Right, exactly. It's one of those things you like. One day he'll just be like, "Wait a minute!" Like it will just like appear, like dis disappear in ink. I have one final question. We asked this in 
the first episode and it's still a lingering question and i don't know if they're gonna get to it but where is steve rogers where is old man cap he's living his life with peggy so did he go back to an alternate reality if he didn't start another time loop then um he just kind of lived his life like low-key I wonder that too, like, where is he? Or did he like die like right when he gave him the show? He's like, okay, ah, I'm just like. <laughs> I don't think so, I don't think so. Went back into the blip and shit. <laughs> <laughs> he went back to preserve their time loop because of, um, you know, some of the items that needed to go back, like the Infinity Stones and whatnot. So they're in the proper time loop. Right. But then, so he basically lived out his life, waited till the times had caught up with him, and is like, I'm going to take a stroll over and talk to Sam and give him the shield. This is about the time Endgame would have ended. And then what did he do after that? He's like, well, I'm going to go retire somewhere. Or That would be the real question because, you know, after, because Peggy was gone. She had passed away. They implied she passed away, right? There's a screen capture of an old man um carrying um her casket a lot of people say it's steve no steve carried her casket when he was young remember there was that scene where it was young oh, steve she, rogers well, in, in that cap. scene there's another guy who looks a lot like he could be old man cap as well oh that's so interesting that would be a great easter egg we need to I, the same place at the same time yeah there was a young captain america and an old captain america both Bearing her casket, carrying her casket. Dang. <laughs> and they don't even know each other. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I have to Google that as soon as we're done here. <laughs> Whoa.